So let's first learn about what exactly is machine learning. The machine learning, the basic idea behind machine learning is allowing the computers to learn from data. All right, and machine learning is also a branch of artificial intelligence. So instead of writing detailed rules, you know, we, we like to write rules in programming, like if and else, all that stuff, that, those are rules. So instead of writing detailed rules step by step, we feed uh, a computer with a lot of examples. So the data as well as the answers. And the computer then learn the patterns based on the data that we're providing and uses them to make predictions or decisions. So the more data it sees and the better it can become. So what exactly is the difference between a traditional programming versus uh, machine learning? Well, with traditional programming, we write the rules. We add the data and we get the output. Uh, for example, if an email contains with money, mark it as spam. If the email body con contains something like I'm the prince of somewhere, somewhere and I'm asking for money, well, mark it as spam. Uh, in machine learning, it is quite the opposite. We give the computer a lot of data and the correct answers, like which emails are spam and which emails are not spam. So the computer then figures out different rules based on the data and based on the answers that we have provided. So that is why spam filters today are much smarter than they used to be. Now types of machine learning, there are different types of machine learning. There is a, uh, you know, three big categories. So first one is supervised learning. Supervised learning is like teaching with an answer key. For example, predicting the house prices based on size and location. So, so we give the size, I mean, we have the access to the size, the location, but we also have access to the price, the answer key. And we feed the data to the machine learning algorithm, and it looks at the data, looks at the size, looks at the location, looks at the price, looks at the size, location, price of all the thousands and hundreds of thousands of different house prices records. And then it tries to understand the pattern that what happens when the price or the size is smaller, the location is somewhere else, then the price will be different. So it's trying to learn from the data. The second type of machine learning is unsupervised learning. This means that we don't really give answers. We just let the computer find patterns, like grouping customer into different segments. And the good thing is that we are actually going to be learning that uh, when we learn about clustering in our course. And the final one is reinforcement learning. Now, this is learning through trial and error. Imagine training a robot to walk. It tries, it fails, then it gets back and slowly uh, learns the best strategy. Reinforcement learning is also very close to how humans, how you and I both learned, right? I mean, remember the first time you were riding your bicycle? I'm sure that you have, you fell a number of times, but then you started to adjust like, okay, maybe I shouldn't make that sharp turns. Maybe I should keep my speed not too low, right? I should, you know, go at medium speed or so much. So that's how we learn reinforcement learning. And that is another type of machine learning too. Real world applications for machine learning, they're all around us. When Gmail filters your spam, that's machine learning. When Netflix suggests what movie you like, that's also machine learning. We have also seen machine learning in very advanced cases like self-driving cars, Tesla, Waymo, in healthcare, disease diagnostics, drug uh, discovery, in finance, fraud detection, and making stock predictions. So why does it all matter? I mean, why does machine learning matter? And why should we care? 
Well, machine learning matters because it saves time and effort by automating the task. It can be more accurate than human in certain cases, and it makes sense of huge amount of data that we can never analyze ourselves. Most importantly, it's opening doors to innovation in almost every industry that you can think of. But machine learning is not perfect. It does need a lot of data. And if the data has biases, that means that the model will reflect that. The trained model that you will create after training, that can also have bias. Sometimes also the results are hard to explain, which is a problem for sensitive areas like healthcare and law. I mean, how did the machine learning algorithm uh, discovered that solution or came up with that exact solution. And finally, it can require serious computing power, which not every organization has. So to wrap up, machine learning is about teaching computers to learn from data and improve over time. It powers the apps we use every day and drives innovation in fields from medicine to finance. It's powerful, but also comes with challenges we must handle responsibly, responsibly. Thank you so much. Let's go move further in the course. Hey everyone, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you're interested, I have a complete course called Machine Learning Bootcamp for Complete Beginners. Now this is around 12 hour course and I keep adding new material. And this is going to start with Python development. So you can see there are a lot of sections on Python development, and then it dives into machine learning. So you're going to learn about linear regression, logistic regression, trees, clustering, PCA, and even a project where you will train your own model, and then you will build a website using Flask to connect to the model. So there's a lot of stuff that is covered in this course. And the best part of this course is that it is for beginners, complete beginners. We are going to use real world example. We're going to solve real world problems, all dedicated for beginners. So this is a really good course and it covers scikit-learn, it covered pandas, it covered Flask, a lot of stuff. So this is a really great course for complete beginners. And the link of this course will be right there in the YouTube description. I really hope that you enjoy this course. Thank you so much.